welcome to my YouTube channel and in this video, I will be showing to you how to make a beach seashell necklace. I decided to make a beach necklace mainly because of my location. I live near the ocean, which means I can easily go to the shore and look for shells I can use as jewelry. Next is that shells are undeniably beautiful, especially if you put them together. It could be used as a gift or it can also be a source of income soon. So let's proceed. We will be using shells of course, strings, tape, hammer, and nail. Now this is a type of cowrie shell that's commonly used when making a seashell necklace. But since this type is not abundant in my area, I will be using this instead. I will be using this string. It is like a sewing thread but much thicker and its length is 60 inches but I put it together to still make it thicker. So it's now 30 inches. It is supposed to be a wax cord but since it's not available in my area, I use this string as alternative. We need to put a hole on the shell, that's why there is a hammer, but if you can purchase a cowrie shell that has already holes, much better. If you have a small light hammer at your home, much better if you can use that, but since this is the only one I have, it will do. I'm using the claw of the hammer first to create a hole. Just be careful in doing so to avoid hitting your fingers. Then I use the face of the hammer to finish the hole. If you notice, there is something in the middle. Now, I removed that through a nail because that part is not as hard as the very shell. And by removing that, it will not be difficult for me to insert the string. Continue the process till you have this much. Next, put a tape on the tip of the strings to make it stiff. This will be easier for me to insert through the shells. But if you are using a wax cord which is already thick and stiff, then this step is unnecessary. Then tie one end because that will serve a purpose later. Okay, so let's start. Take a shell, the first one is cowrie shell, so you will be able to know how it should look like when inserting the strings. Insert the first th string in this part of the shell, this is called the teeth. Then pull the string slightly, and then turn to the other side and insert the second string on that part. Before pulling both strings, take the first string first, put it together, and pull the string simultaneously. Then you'll be able to see the shell is descending.
then twist the strings multiple times and then tie it so it will be separated from the other shells To know if you did it right, it must create this pattern. Did you get it? If not, let's take another shell. Insert the first string through the teeth. Pull it slightly but set aside first. And then take the second string, insert it on the other part of the shell. Okay, put the strings together, then pull it at the same time. Twist the strings and then tie it after. Did you get it now? I hope so! Now let's proceed filling the strings with shells. Try to put it on your neck and see if you are satisfied with it already.
Now this time, for me, it is already good. Let's proceed to making a lock. This part should not be seen when you're wearing the necklace. Almost done! For our lock, we will still use a shell. So let's tie first to make sure there is a distance between the main necklace and the lock. After tying, take a single shell and then repeat the process of inserting the strings. Remember the first knot you made earlier before putting the shells? That is where we will insert the latest shell that will serve as our lock. So here I am trying to put it on and fix it. This is now the finished product. I hope you like it and I'm looking forward to seeing your creation.